Oh my god, that is loud. Like fucking hell, that is loud in my ears. There we go. Okay, we're, uh, we're taking a test today. I don't think we are... Yeah, let me actually turn the shit down. Uh, it's still pretty loud in my ears, but you know what, we'll take it. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You will be asked a series of questions, and you must answer them honestly. Now then, I say- Oh wait, now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if it's hard to face. Okay, I was checking if, uh, if my audio was, if my mic was, uh, was on, and it is. Uh, okay. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances, or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world, in this world? Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. Uh What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. This is simply nature. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work, unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, Well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, I got beer, I don't have water. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. We are about to begin with a series of questions and provided that you're willing and provided that you're a willing participant, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. Would you be alright with living alone? Forever? Absolutely. I hate people. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Hmm. No. No, I prefer black. If you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Fuck no. Are you sure you want to you want the answers you seek? Yeah. Are you afraid of spiders? No, I like spiders. Spiders are friends. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? 
If I emerge on Scath, I mean, I'd do it regardless, yeah. Would you consider yourself to be fat? No, I'm quite the opposite. Would you say you have lots of charisma? I don't know, chat, help. Hey chat, am I charismatic? I mean, there, is, is there even anyone in chat? Who are the three people in chat? Well, one of them is me. Who are the two people in chat? Please tell me, am I charismatic? You know what? Fuck it, I'll suck my own dick, sure. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? I wish I was forever frozen. This is all very interesting. Did you realize that the last letter of the previous five questions when put together spelled the name Satan? I did not. Does that make you uncomfortable? No, I'm used to it. Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? Uh, I'd like to think that I am, but no. <laughs> are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? Yeah. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus far? Yes. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? Are you afraid of the consequences? No. Were you aware that there could be a potential consequence for answering dishonestly? No. Are you wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn? Yeah. Uh, would you consider yourself captivated? Uh, I don't know. Uh, sure. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? I don't know. How brave? Um, I guess we make my own... Sure, fuck it. Do you view yourself as someone with above average intelligence? No, I'm stupid as fuck. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? No, I literally have been reading them. Are you wondering which hidden message you may have missed? Yeah. Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take or how many questions exist in this session? Uh, I was wondering that before I even opened the game, so yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? I've spent Fucking 50 hours shiny hunting in white? Yes. <laughs> Do most humans annoy you? Yes. Do you prefer animals to people? Yes. Do you believe in magic? No. Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher power? No. Do you fear death? No, I want to die. Are you attracted to someone whom you're not currently in a relationship with? Attracted in what way? Like, romantically or platonically? I mean, platonically, yeah. Romantically, not really. I'll just assume platonically, so yeah. Did you answer that last question with 100% honesty? Again, it depends, so... You said, make your own circumstances, so yeah. Are you alone? I assume I am. Are you sure? Yo, is there someone out there? Is there someone behind that door? Is there someone in the drawer? Hold on, let me check, let me check my closet. Doesn't seem like there's anyone in here. Yeah, seems like I'm alone. If I told you without most certainty that there's something watching you, would you believe me? No. Have you wondered who I am? No. <laughs> Have you had shivers at any point during this lesson? No. Hold on. No. No. Not even. Don't even have chicken skin. Uh, do you feel like you're being watched? Not really. Have you considered quitting this session early? No. Do you drink water every day? Uh, I drink more beer and coke than water. I mean, 
depends on how much water. I mean, technically everything has water, like every liquid has water in it, or most of it. I guess yes. Do you eat at least once per day every day? Uh, no. Do you, uh, do you realize that you've missed seven hidden messages thus far? Fuck. Do you realize that you just missed another one? For fuck's sake. Are you wondering what they were? Yes. Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? For a little bit, yeah. And then I'll probably forget. Is your favorite number 7? No, it's 17. Life is short. But it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? Yeah, unfortunately. Oranges cannot be compared to apples. Do you agree? Yeah, I, I feel like they can't really be compared. Like, I don't... Because, uh... I feel like they're just... Like, oranges are... Like, they're just a different kind. They're, like, more... More, like... I want to say sour, but I don't know if that's the right word. I don't know. They're more savory, I think. Not savory. That's not the right word. Yes! Uh, Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. Did you know that? Did I know that? Mm, I'm gonna say no, but I feel like I've heard that somewhere. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? No. You can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? Oh, me? No. Obedience is more important than freedom. Do you... Do you agree? No. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Do you agree? Yeah. Do you realize that the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase I love you? Hmm, I didn't know. Do you wish to be loved? Eh, I mean, I guess. Sure. Do you have any addictions? Maybe. Do you dislike the color pink? Hmm. I don't hate it. But it is probably my least favorite color. Sure. Does the color gray seem depressing? Um, it depends. But I mean, I would be kind of a hypocrite to say that it does because my layout is gray, even though it, it's not, I didn't make it, but still, I chose to use it, so no. Do you enjoy loud music? I mean, my favorite music genre is rock, which is loud music, but if he means like... Do I enjoy, like, blasting music? No. I'm just gonna assume that. Do you like to dance? Not really. Would you consider yourself normal? Uh... I don't know. What, it, what, what really is, like, normal? No. Do you love your parents? One of them. Not the other. I'm gonna say no. Have you ever been lied to? Yeah. Do you get angry often? Hmm, yeah. Do you hold grudges? Yeah. Have you ever forgiven someone? No. Have you ever lied? Yeah. You think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Hmm... Uh, I'll say yeah. I never really thought about that, to be honest. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? Yeah. Do you believe you have psychic powers? No. Have you ever seen a ghost? No. Do you dream often? Yeah, but I forget, like, all of the dreams I have. 
Do you have nightmares often? I don't think so. Do you suffer from anxiety attacks? Yeah. Do you suffer from depression? Yeah. I don't think that's a surprise. Do you exercise often and stay active? No. I mean, I guess technically you can consider, like, my college's farm. Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? Fuck yes. Have you ever felt betrayed? Yes, I feel like you asked that already. Do you ever feel lost in life? Yes. Would you consider yourself a natural leader? No. If you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? Hell yes. Not even a hesitation. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? Do I? I don't know. I'm gonna say no. Have you ever been bullied? Yeah. Have you ever bullied someone else? Yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? No. Do you sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally? Unfortunately, yes. It's a problem I have. I... It kind of sucks. Do you find space fascinating? Mm. You know what? Yeah. Would you consider yourself to be an artist? No. Would you consider yourself a good friend? Let me ask someone who's awake. Hold on. Uh. Hold on, yeah? Shit, everyone's asleep, though. <laughs> um... Uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Apparently, yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Absolutely. Do you believe in perfection? In people? No. Uh. Uh. Eh, in people? No. Have you ever stolen from someone? Yeah. Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? Yeah. If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? Mm. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I would. Have you ever told your darkest secrets to anyone? To someone? Darkest secrets? I don't really hold secrets, though. Like... I mean, last time, like, I did talk about, like, my family drama. Which... I mean... I don't... I don't talk about it often. But, like, it's not really a secret for me. Like, I can talk about it, no problem. Mmm... I guess... I'll say yes. Do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? Yeah. Do you know who I am? No. If I appeared behind you right now, would you scream? Only one way to find out, my guy. Only one way to find out. You know what? Challenge accepted. No. 
Okay, well, he's not. If I told you that I've been behind you this entire time, would that scare you? No. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Empathetic. Hold on, hold on. Um, let's see what... Showing an ability to understand and share feelings of another. Uh, I don't know. Mm, I'll say yes. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? I don't know. I don't think so. Because, like, I have flirted before, but it was usually, like, as a. It was used, like, the context was usually just a joke. Like, in context, like, it wasn't, like, like romantic flirting, it was just teasing. So, I guess not. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Yes. Are you prone to headaches or migraines? Yes. I, I think people can guess that. Do you look at the ground when you walk? Yes. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Yes. Uh, would you ever shave your head? Uh, no. Are you attracted to muscular bodies? Uh... No? Do you ever dance when no one is looking? Sometimes, but... Uh, that takes too... too much. Uh... No. Do you trust your best friend entirely? Fuck no. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? No, I know- I remember bits and pieces, and again, they're like... Extremely, like, segmented, like, pieces of childhood. Would you rob a bank if you get away- if you could get away with it? Absolutely. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? I did once. I did remember, I, I did have like this one dream where I like was running away from a killer and like I in the end I got stabbed in the face and that's when I woke up but like that was a few years ago mm, I guess like I did once but I don't know if it applies to like if it means like because it says, do you ever, not have you ever. So it means, so like, here it kind of says, like, do you, like, consistently get, like, dreams about running from a killer? But, like, I haven't had one, like, in a, in a long time. I'm gonna say no. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? No. Being naked in public? No. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? Yes. Do you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? Yes. Do you like being the center of attention? No. Do you feel like something is always watching you? No. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? Mm, I kind of... Sometimes I do look look up, like, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? No. Have you ever punched a nun?
<laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> I actually have as well. <laughs> this motherfucker just know everything about me. What the fuck? Maybe he is watching me. <laughs> Do you like dogs better than cats? No, I love them equally. Fuck you. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? Mm, I, I have been reading a lot of manga, but... I'll say I prefer movies. Are you still wondering why I asked you if you ever punched a nun? I, you, you actually, yes. Do you get starstruck easily? Starstruck. Do I? Hold on. Uh. Uh. Hold on. Fascinated or greatly impressed by famous people, especially those connected with cinema theater. Mm. Uh, no, only certain people, but like, those certain people are like, either voice actors that are really good, or like, actors from movies that I used to watch as a kid, so no. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? Yeah. Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? Hmm. You know what? Yeah. I don't really like celebrating my birthday. Seriously though, have you ever punched a nun? <laughs> like, really, just BAM, right in the face, nun punch. <laughs> Look, yes, I have, alright, don't remind me. <laughs> did you laugh? Uh, ha did I laugh? I do remember running away. <laughs> uh, did I laugh? Uh... Honestly? I laughed now. That you know what? Sure, yes. <laughs> did you say what the fuck in your head even aloud? Did I? Do, I need to look back on. Uh, did I say that? Did I say what the fuck. I probably did say what the fuck. I say what the fuck even like, even in like other cases. You know? Yeah, I did. Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity to punch a nun sometime soon? <laughs> uh. 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 Hold on, I gotta... Oh my god. This, this thing. Okay. Am I eager to somehow get the opportunity to punch a nun sometime soon? Uh. You know what? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. If there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? Straight to hell. Not even a question. Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? Uh, yeah. Do you masturbate frequently? Yeah, sure. Are you wondering what constitutes frequently? I'm guessing it's like daily. Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? No, honestly, there's no shame in it. Is your mouth dry? A little. No. No, it's pretty... No. No, it's good. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? No. 
Do you believe in legendary beasts such as the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? Uh, no. Are you poor with money management? Yes. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? No. Do you speak more than one language fluently? Yes, I speak Italian. Have you ever visited uh, another country other than your own? Yes. Do you enjoy coffee? Yes, I'm kind of relying on it right now. Do you believe in demons? No. Do you believe in angels? No. Are you afraid of sharks? No, sharks are friends. Do you prefer baths over showers? I don't care. <laughs> I don't. I don't care as long as it does the job. Um, no. Does the smell of perfume, perfume or cologne give you headaches? No. It's just kind of. It just kind of bothers me. Did you see that shadow move in your room a few moments ago? No, I didn't. Do you ever hear your name being called even when you know no one's calling it? I actually do. I ha I like in my head, I just hear like voices for some reason. Do things in your home often go missing and then reappear later? Uh no. Do you ever hear footsteps around you when you're alone? Mm, no. Do you hear random knocking noises around you? N no. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? Uh, what does that mean? I, uh... I mean, I guess yes, because sometimes I gotta look at the time to see like when, like my stream, when I got a stream. Sure. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? No. Do you have any pets? Uh, here in England? No. In Italy? Yes. Is your favorite color green? Yes, it is. How did you know? Are you attra are you attracted to a family member? No. If you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Absolutely not. If you could be in if you could be the dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? No, I'd do a terrible job. Like I hate this country. Uh do you ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison? No, I already <laughs> I already have experience. Do you like fishing? I I was going to say I never went fishing, but that's a lie. I did go fishing once. Um It's all right, I guess, but I don't have much experience to really say to really have an opinion on it. Do you like hunting? No. Do you like camping? Uh, I mean, I used to live in a motorhome, but that doesn't really... I don't know if that really counts as camping. If we're talking about, like, like in a tent? Uh, I don't think I ever have camped. I'm gonna say no, I can't imagine myself camping. Do you like guns? I'm not a, uh, I mean, I kinda have one stuck to my hand, so yeah. <laughs> Are you getting tired of answering questions? No, I can, I can do this all day. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? Uh, sure.
Eyes are the window to the soul. Do you agree? No. Do you always keep your promises? I try to. Mm. But mm, there are times where I haven't been able to. I'm gonna say no. I try to keep my promises. Sometimes it's just not possible, unfortunately. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? No. Are you an only child? This is weird. Technically, yes. I, but I do have a half sister. But by the time I was born, uh, she was already like an adult. By the time I was born, she was already like about 18, maybe 20. So, you know, I never actually lived with her and, and like, while she is my like sister on my mom's side, I'm my dad's only child and living with my parents i've like i've always been the only child in the house so yeah do you ever enjoy being drunk i wouldn't be having beer otherwise it's the only way i have to not like murder myself do you like tattoos i kind of yeah yeah i want one actually i i might if i if i don't end up dying by the end of the year i might get one do you enjoy being high in any form uh, I have not tried any drugs that isn't alcohol because alcohol doesn't really count as a drug. Do you believe you have a soul? Maybe, but no. Did you cry this week? I don't think I have. Are you upset with someone right now? Yes, but I can't say with who. Is there someone you're not completely honest with daily? Yeah. Do you understand how this works yet? No. If you answer the questions twice, your truths may change. It's not just about answering the questions. It's about the time you spend answering them. The combination you answer them in. Uh, it's about many different variables you'd never guess. Do you understand? Yeah. Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on previous questions you just answered? Um, yeah. If I were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself, and anyone else that bother that bothers using this uh, bothers using this is just a byproduct of its intention. Would you believe that? I gotta reread that. Uh, this entire process was planned here for you specifically, you to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this is just a byproduct of its intention. Would you believe that? Um. No. Are you afraid of being abandoned? <laughs> Too late, I already have been. Are you afraid of dying alone? No, that's the most likely outcome. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? No fucking wish. Are you always on guard, waiting to fend off an attack? No. Do you feel like I know you yet? Mm, yeah. Have you ever heard any strange noises while answering these questions? No. I think we may have enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond, or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. One word describes you more than any other. That word is talented. Personally, I think you're more talented than you realize. And I think you're more talented than anyone else realizes as well. 
if you just spend a little bit less time out of your own head, you might get a lot further. You are by far your own worst enemy. You need to seriously cut that shit out and start trusting your natural talents and abilities more. No one knows you better than you, however you must pay heed to this warning. You're way too overcritical of yourself at times and it can lead to you breaking yourself down way further than it than you ever should. I swear to god this guy is probably good <laughs> if I <laughs> if I end up not quitting after this stream, it's because of this guy. Fuck you, bro. Fuck chat. <laughs> chat didn't do shit. This guy did more for me than anyone else. What the fuck? This random creepy guy is nicer than my own fucking viewers. <laughs> and two people left because I said that. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh my god. If you're not careful, you can ruin your entire potential to be successful in life. Just not by paying attention to when you need to self-reflect. And when you need to give yourself the credit you deserve. Start being more positive. You'll do just fine. Your secret word is fantasy. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Fantasy. Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in future projects we're currently working on. Oh no, never mind. Too late. <laughs> Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be a part of history. This is a chance for you to be a part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret words in your comments. Yeah, I know it's already been. It's. I'm pretty sure that that uh that uh that project is has been completed a while ago. If you do not wish to be a part of an upcoming project, simply leave your secret words out of the out of your comments, and we will we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave. And we always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer your question. I know they've been some help to you. And if they aren't yet, uh, it'll all make sense very soon. Trust me on that. Oh, all right. Wow, those were some short ass credits. Okay. Well, that was the test. <laughs>